In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good people, I'm sure your Friday is good. I am not sure whether everybody is in Friday. Uh, some are not. I can assure you that some are not. Those in Canada are not in Friday. Those in the, the Republic of the U.S. are not on Friday, and many, many others. Wherever it is that you are, allow me to greet you. Hope you are well. For us here in this Republic of 254, it is Friday, early in the morning. And this day, it is the 10th, the 10th, the 10th day of February, this year of our Lord and Savior, 2023. I know some are on the 9th, but, I'm, but very soon you'll be joining us in some few hours, 6, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, like that. You'll be on 10th. So this day we start the journey, 21 days journey of prayer, as we seek to pray for peace and stillness. I know you may have been at a point where you are not at peace. I know you know the consequences of lack of peace, some of which is insomnia or lack of sleep. When you are not at peace, so many things happen. One of them is that um, you can't sleep well. The other one is you cannot eat well. The other one is you have some funny ailments like migraines or migraines. Others, you have stomach problems. There are others whose lack of peace affects the joints and generally a lack of concentration. We need peace for us to coexist with one another. We need peace to transact our business. We need peace to be able to worship. We need peace. We need peace in every aspect and facet of our life. And that is why we said, <clears throat> for this new year, we will start by positioning ourselves in desire to look for peace. Remember, this is our first novena for this new year, and we have um, three, three novenas that are following these uh, back to back. Remember, towards the end of last year, we did the novena for, for boys. And of course, there was an immediate question, when are we doing the novena for girls? Uh, immediately after this, we shall be doing novena for our daughters. Following our daughters, we shall do novena for the police officers. Immediately after that, we shall do novena for married women, praying for their husbands. And then the novenas follow each other. And I have realized that with these many novenas, you never know as the year is coming to an end. Because by the time we are coming to the end of the year, already we have a group that is asking, Father, when is our day? Uh, I know we have never had one for the medics. And they've been asking me, Father, when are you remembering the medics? Uh, I am praying, 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 and hoping that uh, we shall have time for the medics, for the military officers, uh, for everyone. How I pray that uh, we can have a lengthy year <laughs> that has 25 months, <laughs> so that in one year we can pray for everyone. But good people, let us position ourselves and uh, pray this novena together for inner peace and stillness. We need peace in everything that we do. I want to encourage you. This novena is for everyone. 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 Everyone who desires to live a peaceful life. Anyone who desires to be peaceable amidst others. And everyone who wants to transact their businesses in an atmosphere of peace and tranquility. Therefore, join me any hour that you choose that we pray together. Remember, it's only me and maybe a few others 
whose hour of prayer is 3 a.m. What we said, and we have uh, explained this, is that you have a duty. Pick an hour that you can be able to be faithful to. We have always said that the novena prayer is effective when we are able to keep the discipline. And the discipline is constantly and consistently keeping the hour that you choose. Please do that, and we'll be at it for 21 days. On the third day of, uh, of March, in this year of our Lord and Savior 2023, we shall have the Novena Closure Mass. So the Novena text, I know you have the text already, the Novena text ends on the second. The text as you have it, it ends on the second. And then from there, well, then we'll be able to, to prepare ourselves for the Holy Mass the following day. So if you do not have this text, now you need to write to me, kenyafr at gmail.com, kenyafr at gmail.com, and I will send you the copy, we pray together. I have got a few people in various countries who are doing this novena as a team. One team, I have a team, a very strong team in Johannesburg, uh, people who are praying together. I have a team in Zimbabwe. I have a team in Zambia. Uh, I have a team in another country in the West Africa. I have a team in the U.S., I'll tell you the states later. Uh, I am happy that uh, we are able to come together and pray, and I have thousands of people praying in this Republic of Kenya, doing it as an individual, others as a small group of women and men, uh, a community of faith. Let us pray. I've always said, every novena we pray. It, is, it happens at the backdrop of an eternal novena. My prayer is that uh, we shall pray the novenas until we die. That every minute is dedicated to prayer. That we do not have a free minute, such that even when things are very difficult, we are still praying. When we are succeeding, we are praying. When we are losing our loved ones, we are praying. When we are marrying of our sons and daughters, we are praying. When we are succeeding, we are praying. When business is thriving, we are praying. When, when, and when, and when, and when, and when, we are praying. Together, we start this journey until the third day of March. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Friday. Let's pray together.